now, but my mom is taking a call in the room where my cat is sleeping in. So. is almost dead getting dark out so i'm gonna go back to my bnb soon i'm sorry i barely filmed anything today battery mistake i'll bring i'll bring the charger everywhere i go from now on but um i'm gonna have dinner soon and right now i'm going through some photos because we're going through some things that um were in my grandparents house because it's up for sale right now so everything's been cleared out and um I'm looking through some photos right now and nostalgia, so much nostalgia. I mean, look, look at this is me in my school uniform, in my summer school uniform. I must have been like four or five years old maximum because when I was five, we moved to Belgium. So this is my English school uniform. And there's so many cute photos of me and my brother, but I won't show them because he's probably going to kill me. So <laughs> oh, goodness. <sighs> Weird day, weird feelings, but it's all good. Did I buy shampoo today? Yes, I did. I bought some shampoo. Anyway, I'm gonna keep sorting through some photos. I'm gonna have lunch, uh, lunch, dinner, jet lag, and then I'll go back to the B&B. And hopefully get some sleep. Yeah. Hello, day two in Belgium. I'm relaxing on the couch. My mom and my stepdad are just stepped out for a second. It's already like 4 p.m. Guys, I don't know where the day's gone. I have a uh, Pachi making biscuits on my lap. <laughs> and I've got one pup there. I think the other pup is somewhere over there, but yeah i didn't film this morning because basically we went to my brother's house my brother and his girlfriend house that they bought and renovated together actually i think i've mentioned that already that i saw the house before the renovations but not since and actually it's awesome my brother and his girlfriend have great taste <laughs> so the house is beautiful and uh yeah i'm very pleased to see that my brother is doing so well it sounds like I'm envious, it's because I am, but I'm also very pleased that my brother is doing so well. I don't think anything else is going to really happen today. Went to see my brothers, had a second breakfast there, and then went to the supermarket and grabbed a whole bunch of foods that I've been craving since moving to Japan. Had lunch, had like the spinach burgers that I've been craving for forever. I just forgot to film it, but like, jet lag is really getting to me. Um, and actually the reason... Fully. Oh. He's leaving me. Actually, the reason why I didn't film this morning is because I was almost late to meet my mom to go see my brother. So this is why I'm only starting now at 4 p.m. He's sleeping on the, the dog bed. That's so random. Now I'm all cozy. I have a hot water bottle. And the fire is going. So everything's fine. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to go see my grandparents' house to set it up because Sunday I'm meeting my... Well... I was going to say my whole family, but the ones who are available, I'm meeting them there. So we need to prepare the house because it's been emptied and like probably turn the heating on. And I probably need to see the house by myself because it will be my first time seeing the house completely empty since my grandfather passed away. So I think I need a moment to myself before actually going to a party there with a whole bunch of people. And while I'm in the area, I'm going to probably go by the cemetery. So that's a lot of things that I'm probably not going to be able to film. So I don't know what... I'm not really sure what this vlog is going to look like. It seemed exciting at first and now I'm kind of like... 
Is this interesting? Is this interesting for anyone? I'm just chilling at my mother's house. See you in the next clip. Whatever that may be. Saturday, heading to my mom's house again, and then from my mom's house, we'll probably go to my grandparents' house and the cemetery. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. I know I was rumbling about it yesterday, and I'm not sure I'm gonna keep the clip in, so I'm just gonna repeat things for safe measure. Uh, it's pretty gray <laughs> and rainy again, and yes, I'm wearing the same jumper because I didn't really think things through when I was making my suitcase. I'm still not great in the head yet. Still getting over that thing that happened that I don't want to mention. <laughs> Today was really rough this morning actually when I woke up. I woke up around like 4 again and I was like trying to get back to sleep and I was like, you know what, screw it. Woke up properly at 5, had breakfast in bed watching Netflix <laughs> and this just didn't didn't do anything really this morning it's like past 10 a.m. now but my anxiety isn't great I don't feel too good I just feel really low like it started yesterday evening I started feeling really low and this morning I'm still feeling it so not awesome not great but powering through yeah I'm not sure what I'm gonna show you today maybe some of the countryside Maybe I'll see my cat again today before we go to my grandparents' house. Gosh, it's gonna be a tough one today, guys. Just telling you now, it's gonna be really, really tough going to the, sorry, <laughs> running nose, going to the cemetery and then seeing the empty house. And then I'm gonna go see one of my oldest friends, like we met in <laughs> first year of high school. Uh, so I'm gonna go see her, that's gonna be really fun too. Obviously, she's married and has kids. <laughs> it's about, it's a me thing. It's a frustration thing. Like, why aren't things working out? Like, my career isn't where I want it to be. I'm fucking poor and I'm in my 30s. Uh, yes, yeah, sure, I moved to Tokyo, but I'm struggling. Let me just cross here. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel great about my life right now. And, uh,. I don't feel like I'm I don't feel like I'm going to see my family feel like proud and victorious of what I've achieved. I kind of feel like please don't ask me any questions about my life today because I might cry <laughs> type of thing. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, arriving at the one of the main roads, so time to time to keep walking and pay more attention.
the garden I grew up in. It's a mess right now. I was trying to go around because there's like this little path that goes around the garden. But it's too much. It's too, the nature, nature took back. It's, uh, it's property, so I can't go around here without walking on funny stuff. But that could be possible. But gosh, guys. Oh, mushrooms! Gonna be part of the family anymore. I can't believe like, other people are gonna be living here and smelling this. God, I wish I could capture the smell. And I think I already mentioned that in another video. Let's see, there's no path anymore. <laughs> I actually wanted to go to that that, that part over there because that's one of the areas I used to play with with my with my brother and with my cousins. So bittersweet. Sure. I wish I could win the lottery, like, and, and buy this house and renovate it and take care of it and keep it in the family. Unfortunately, doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. The garden is completely overgrown. It's the little house. It's probably going to get torn down. Freaking sucks, but it's an old, freaking old house. Needs a little too much renovation, probably. Gosh, okay, let's go back in. It's getting cold. It's not raining, it's getting cold. Meeting the family here today. I'm gonna meet everyone one last time.